हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम बैक आई होप यूर ऑल फाइन आई यू गाइज रीडिंग बुक्स रेगुलरली आई गेस यू आर फाइन गाइज टूडे आई शेयर सम टिप्स टू इम्प्रूव योर व कैबुलरी लिजन केयरफुल्ली यू हैव टू रीड समथिंग रेगुलरली यू कैन चूज द कंटेंट बेस्ड ऑन योर इंटरेस्ट You can read story books, novels, or magazines, or newspaper. Even an article about your favorite players. But do read something regularly. When you do, have a notebook or diary along with you. If you find a new term, just make a note of it in the diary. Once you finish reading, look up for the meaning of those words in the dictionary and construct. two or three sentences using that new term and try to use that word at least for uh, five times the very same day this practice will help you remember the word so do try it and enjoy the benefits okay guys let's in, get into today's class we are going to discuss about future perfect continuous tense today and as usual before getting into it we can have a quick recap about what we have learned in the previous session we learned about future perfect tense right see the verb structure it is will or shall plus have plus v3 we can stick on to will plus have plus v3 since shall is not used nowadays okay so will have plus v3 the and we use this tense to describe the completed action at a certain point of time in future so we will refer a future time and by that time the action would have got over okay and we use time expression like by next week or by next month or by the end of this month or by the end of this week or by the end of this year okay such time expression will be used when we construct this sentence i hope you remember now we'll get into today's session it is future perfect continuous tense and uh, see the verb structure it is will have been plus be one plus ing actually uh, this tense uh, is not in usage um even native people or uh, native speakers will not use this Uh, but anyhow we are going to learn about what is this and when to use this and its sentence structure um it is not uh, commonly used either in the written or spoken form okay but we are going to learn about this we need to know what is this so that's why i'm planning to share this topic with you guys today uh we use this to indicate the duration of an event at a specific time in the future so we'll be expressing how long the action was in process okay so that is the main concept to tell how long this was in process the action was in process and we mention a future time or situation to express that the action was in process until that time okay so the duration and this future time we'll connect that okay and that action might have got over by that future time or else it may proceed further okay it depends upon the situation but maximum the action would be in process okay so the explanation for this definition is to refer the duration of an event to express how long the action was in process along with the future time okay so that is the concept we'll be mentioning a future time as well as the duration of an event uh, so it is actually very tricky but you can understand by seeing some examples okay uh, for example uh you you are living in your house right 
some neighbors enter your house and they ask you how long have you been living here and instead of telling them i have been living here for 2 years or 3 years you are giving a reply like um, i will have been living in this house for 2 years by next month okay so because the 2 years uh, is not at over so you are not ready to tell the neighbor that it got 2 years got over so you are telling um, by next month uh, so if next month comes uh, it is the 2 years get over so instead of telling directly it has been 2 years you are telling them uh, i will have been living in this house for 2 years by next month um so let me state another example also uh you have a pet animal with you and your friends visit your house and they inquire you how long have you been taking care of this um so you are just giving a reply um, i will have been taking care of this animal uh for two months by next monday so instead of telling directly it's uh, it's almost two months or i have been taking care of this for two months or one month three weeks so instead of telling in this way you you are just giving a reply if this time comes it's been two months so to express in such a way the duration of an event along with the future time the duration of an event along with the future time okay so in that situation only we are using this future perfect continuous so you are telling i will have been taking care of this pet for two months by next week so it is not at over okay so only if the next week comes if that gets over the two months also get completed so you are telling in this way in a roundabout manner expressing things in a roundabout manner okay so for that kind of situation we use this future perfect continuous tense okay i guess you were able to understand the situation where we use this okay or uh, uh may i give another example um oh for example um your father is working in a company and someone questions you how long he has been working there so instead of telling he is working here for two months or three months or two years you are giving a reply uh by august uh, he will have been working in this office for three years so only by august uh, it gets over the 3 years duration gets over so instead of telling he has been working here for 3 years you are telling by next august or after 2 months he will have been working or in the month of august he will have been working for so to expressing it in a roundabout manner uh, by mentioning the time and telling only then the exact duration will get completed so in that way expressing the situation or action we use this future perfect continuous tense okay so now see the examples she will have been doing rehearsal for two weeks by next monday mm, she will have been doing rehearsal for two weeks so someone questions how long has she been doing rehearsal uh, by next monday it is two weeks so you are telling uh, she will have been doing rehearsal for two weeks by next monday you are expressing in that way okay instead of telling directly she has been doing for one week five days or one week two days you are giving a reply uh, like uh, she will have been doing rehearsal for two weeks by next monday see the next thing he will have been sleeping for five hours by the time the maid reaches the home so here instead of the future time future situation is mentioned okay uh, so by the time the maid reaches he would have completed the action of sleeping for 5 hours instead of telling he has been sleeping for 5 hours we are telling he will have been sleeping for 5 hours by the time the maid reaches the home because most of the native speakers they use uh, present perfect tense or present perfect continuous tense to express uh, this kind of situation uh, so that's why it is very rarely used Mm, and see here she will have been talking to her neighbor for 30 minutes by 6 o'clock so you know you saw her uh, she was uh, talking to the neighbor and when someone questions what is she doing so or uh, how long has she been uh, talking to the neighbor you can give a reply if the clock struck 6 o'clock then uh, it means uh, for 30 minutes so she will have been talking to her neighbor for 30 minutes by 6 o'clock so you are expressing it in that way okay um even i will give another example here 
or suppose you are waiting for your friend you are standing in a park or somewhere and someone questions you how are you standing and you give a reply i'm waiting for my friend how long have you been waiting so instead of telling i've been waiting here for 2 hours you are giving a reply uh, at 6 o'clock i will have been waiting here for 2 hours so it means instead of telling you came here by 4 and you are waiting there for 2 hours you are giving a reply at 6 o'clock i will have been waiting for uh two hours so you are mentioning the future time at 6 o'clock and you are mentioning the duration of an event that is two hours the action how long the action was in process how long you have been doing that action okay so that is the concept can you get it guys that instead of telling directly we are just uh, saying it in this way mm, uh, so at 6 o'clock i will have been waiting for two hours so that is the thing here also and by 6 o'clock she will have been talking to her neighbor for 5 uh, 30 minutes so for 5:45 or 5:50 you can utter this statement the same way the other example i told you right mm, that is also like that only by 5:30 or 5:45 you are just sharing with someone instead of telling it's been to us you are telling mm, at 5 o'clock so if uh, if the clock struck 6 i will have been waiting here for 2 hours so expressing in that way we use this future perfect continuous tense see here he will have been cycling for about an hour by the time the sun sets so again check in the form of question like how long he's been cycling or what is how long has he been doing this mm, by the time sun sets it's been one hour okay so you are expressing he will have been cycling for about an hour by the time the sun sets okay see the next thing the animals will have been performing in the circus for 3 hours by the time the show gets over so if when the time when the end of the program at the end of the program the animals would have performed for 3 hours okay uh, the annual sports meet will have been going on for 5 hours by the time it gets dark so how long will the annual sports meet be in process or be going on it's for 5 hours by the time it gets dark so you are telling will have been going on for 5 hours by the time it gets dark uh, now see the positive structure subject plus will have been plus v1 plus ing uh, i will have been singing for an hour before the play starts you will have been singing for an hour before the play starts she will have been singing for an hour before the play starts they will have been singing for an hour before the play starts see the negative structure we add not after the helping verb will okay i will not have been singing for an hour before the play starts you will not have been singing for an hour before the play starts she will not have been singing for an hour before the play starts they will not have been singing for an hour before the play starts now see the interrogative question yes or no type so you know very well it starts with helping verb so will then subject then the rest of the verb will i have been singing for an hour before the play starts will you have been singing for an hour before the play starts will she have been singing for an hour before the play starts will they have been singing for an hour before the play starts see the the interrogative wh question the question word helping verb will then subject then the rest of the verb what will i have been doing for an hour before the play starts what will you have been doing for an hour before the play starts what will she have been doing for an hour before the play starts what will they have been doing for an hour before the play starts so here I have uh, four sentences we can just find the verb in these sentences and we can try framing negative sentences and interrogative sentences so see here you will have been using my computer for 5 months uh and we can add uh the future time also you will have been using my computer for 5 months by next week so uh, at the end of the next week it's mean 5 months the person was using your computer for 5 months okay you will have been using my computer for 5 months so what is the verb here will have been using 
okay will have been using so to make it into negative you add not after the will you will not have been using my computer if it is a sir no type of question will you have been using my computer for 5 months okay uh wh question what will you have been using for 5 months okay she will have been singing songs for 3 hours so what is the verb here will have been singing will have been singing okay mm, and a sort of type of question will she have been singing songs for 3 hours and what will she have been doing for 3 hours they will have been discussing about the issue for 5 days uh so what is the verb here will have been discussing will have been discussing and the negative one is they will not have been discussing about the issue for 5 days will they have been discussing about the issue for 5 days um what will they have been discussing about okay for 5 days they will have been writing essay for 2 hours they will not have been writing essay for 2 hours will they have been writing essay for 2 hours what will they have been writing for 2 hours okay guys now we're going to have a recap about what we have learned today we learned about future perfect continuous tense and the verb structure is subject plus will have been plus v1 plus ing um we use the tense to denote the duration of an event with a specific time in future okay to express how long the action was in process okay by referring a future time by referring a future time we refer a certain time in the future and we'll express the duration of an event actually this action was started in past and continued in present and will be continuing in future as well okay but we use this future perfect continuous tense to tell the duration of an event how long the action was in process okay so that is the core concept i hope you understood uh, when to use future perfect continuous tense mm, now we will going we are going to have a very quick recap about all the 12 tenses and its sentence structure i will be just sharing the sentence structure with you we can have a quick recap on that okay so first it is present tense um see here a simple present tense present continuous tense present perfect and present perfect continuous tense i have shared the basic structure if you know this you can easily construct the negative structure and interrogative sono type and wh type okay so we'll see that simple present tense you know when to use this tense mm, so see the verb structure after the subject we use v1 or v1 plus s or e is added word okay if the subject is plural we use v1 and if the subject is singular s or e is added verb is used and there are two helping verbs do and does in simple present tense we use do with plural subject and does with singular subject then present continuous tense uh the structure is subject plus am is or plus v1 plus ing we use am with the subject i and is with singular subject and are with plural subject okay and the verb in will be in ing form okay then present perfect tense it is subject plus has or have plus v3 has or have plus v3 has should be used with singular subject and have should be used with plural subject and after has or have you need to write the third form of verb v3 form of verb okay then present perfect continuous tense subject plus has or have plus been plus v1 plus ing we use has with singular subject and have with plural subject now have a look at the past tense uh simple past tense past continuous tense past perfect and past perfect continuous tense so simple past tense uh the verb structure is subject plus v2 after the subject we place the second form of verb v2 form of verb 
and the hidden helping verb in simple past tense is did okay so the v2 should be separated into did plus v1 did plus v1 okay when you construct the interrogative sentences or negative sentences we use did plus v1 okay then past continuous subject plus was aware plus v1 plus ing okay was should be used with singular subject and where should be used with plural subject then past perfect subject plus had plus v3 and past perfect continuous subject plus had plus been plus v1 plus ing now future tense we have four forms simple future future continuous future perfect future perfect continuous okay so simple future it is subject plus will or shall plus v1 but we use will with almost all the subjects we use shall in the interrogative form to make uh, an offer or suggestion okay we use shall along with the subject i and v to make an offer or to make a suggestion okay and future continuous tense subject plus will be plus v1 plus ing future perfect tense subject plus will have plus v3 future perfect continuous tense subject plus will have been plus v1 plus ing i hope you guys got today's lesson as well as the recap about the 12 sentence structure do practice this uh, learn or revise the sentence structure and just uh, practice it you can just uh, write it in a notebook and check uh, whether you were able to write all the 12 tenses without any errors 12 sentence structure without any errors do try it guys uh, thank you so much